If they think that there isn't a pervasive feeling of bullying by the White House press office, I'll just tell you, for the last four years, I still talk to a lot of those guys. I protect their anonymity. Uh, they aren't happy with the way they're being treated. But I also don't understand why they don't just do better reporting then mm -hmm. and ask harder questions. I mean, Benghazi was a, a, a horrific example of letting something go and talk about willfully they need misleading access. the American people. They need access. In their defense, they need access. And this White House has a history of shutting it down, shutting it down if they don't, if they don't get the reporting they like. But now we're in a situation where you've got a respected journalist whose, whose career is, is taking hits by the day because he has so many people piling on. And they're treating him like he's some rookie reporter who doesn't know when he's been threatened. Of course, Bob Woodward had that email from Gene Sperling. And of course, he read the whole thing and he knows what he wrote back. The question is whether he believed it was a threat when he perceived it. What he told CNN was, yes, that's what I thought. I believe that was a threat to me. But we're supposed to believe he's too immature as a reporter to know what's a threat and what's not, given a long history with this senior White House aide. Well, and that's a good point. Um, there are different ways to run a press office. One of the rules we had, which frustrated a lot of reporters, is that people outside of the press office did not talk directly to the press. They would go through me and my office, and we would try to provide access as, as best we could. But somebody like a Gene Sperling has a longstanding relationship with Bob Woodward, going back to the Clinton days. So they know each other. They live in the same neighborhood. They probably see each other at the grocery store. They know each other very well, so they have communication like this. They can probably have a conversation over coffee any time that they want. Uh, but the problem with, I think, going that route is that as press secretary, you can't stop something from happening or say, whoa, I don't think you should say threat, even if I know what you mean. It might it could be taken the wrong way when it gets out into the into the public. So there are good rules to follow. Um, I do know a, a, an anchor who said that um, he'd cover the Clinton administration, uh, starts covering the Obama administration. And the first week of the Obama administration got a um, F-word laced phone call from Rahm, Rahm Emanuel. But we all know that was Rahm's shtick. That mm -hmm. was the way that he operated. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't think it's a particularly effective way to operate. And I don't think it represents President Obama very well. Mm -hmm.